Hi Leo. Oh my gosh, I am losing my voice in these readings. I hope you're doing well. So this is going to be a singles love reading for you, Leo, for December of 2019. I hope you are doing well. So we are going to have a look, see what is coming through. And I do want to mention as well, very, very quickly, that if you'd like to win a free reading with me, since I do a giveaway every month, information will be in the description box below. If you'd like to purchase a private paid reading with me, which is done within 24 to 48 hours, information will also be down below. And also the other thing was my intention bracelet. Um, if you're interested, a link to my Etsy shop will be in the description box below. These are handmade by me, they are meditated with, they're saged, and they are there to really boost your intentions. And if you want to see how they work for other people, do check out the reviews on my Etsy shop. This one here is a singles one, this one is the love one, and this is a singles love reading, so it correlates nicely. Also, free international shipping on everything. These start from just £3 and they're very affordable. So do check those out. All right, Leo, let's see what is coming through for December. I do apologise, my voice is a little bit all over the place today, so that is what is going on with me, but I hope you're doing well. Ooh, look at that, Ace of Pentacles. some air energy, yeah, air energy really flowing. Okay, let me make up the spread. So, you know, the, when you, how do I say this? The first thing I see is the Ace of Pentacles. Then you have the Queen of Swords. Then you have the counterpart to the Queen of Swords, which is the King of Swords. I mean, is this a match made in heaven? You know, that kind of scenario. We've also got the Ten of Swords, which is, this is about a cycle being broken. Now, if you've been single, this is about that literally being broken. Uh, look at that, right? Look at that. I'm gonna put all the rest of the cards out as well because I feel like what I said is literally just what I feel like I'm going to reiterate, so I don't want to repeat myself 300 times every single time I pull out the cards. So I'm going to pull all of the cards out first, and then we will talk about the spread, because that happens. When I have one card, I'll go into so much detail and depth about that one card, and then all of the other cards are literally just, it's, it's what I just said. So I'm going to pull all the cards, because I have a feeling that's what's going to happen here as well. It's just going to reiterate what I would have gone into more depth about with these four cards and what I've already mentioned. Match made in heaven. There you go. I knew it was going to happen. Okay, so we've got four of wands. We've got the nine of swords. Wheel of fortune. Wow. Okay, so page of pentacles as well flipped over. I'm just gonna put the deck over on the side. Nine of Wands. The moon. The moon. There you go. All right, everyone, that's your reading. I'll see you next week. No, but really, I feel like what I said pretty much reiterates what the rest of the cards are also presenting us, which is the sense of a cycle being broken. For some of you, you may have overthought being single, wondering what's happening, what's coming, what's going on. This very overthinking energy, which can sometimes cause stress and anxiety. But what I am seeing is the minute you stop, and I know this is very difficult to say because it's hard, you know, when someone says, stop overthinking, it's like you just start to overthink even more. The The key here is something like meditation or just mindfulness or having something to distract you or focus you on if you are someone that gets very anxious about things or you just constantly think, why is everyone else around me with someone and I'm not, you know, that kind of energy. It's important to just know that your time will come to have that sort of positivity as well if you are someone that 
you know, constantly overthinks or perhaps you're someone that, you know, just does think a lot. That's the same thing, right? It's the same thing, overthinking and thinking a lot. But what I am seeing is that the cycle needs to sort of be broken. And what you can do is you can put in these distractions to help you stop overthinking. Because I really do feel that it's important for you to focus on the here and the now. And that's what the universe and the guides really want you to do. So it's important either if you can meditate or journal or read a book or find something to distract you in that sense. And little by little, you'll find yourself overthinking less and less. And that is key to breaking this cycle. So that's the nine and the ten of swords that I am seeing. What I am also seeing is that some of you have been single for such a long time that it does cause you stress and anxiety and it does make you quite sad. But again, that cycle needs to be broken in some way, shape or form. You see this emotional energy with the moon here. It's showing a lot of that. The nine of wands as well shows overthinking, contemplating, wondering, pondering. It's normal to reflect, but the minute it goes into overthinking, it can become very toxic. So I just want that to be seen to you. Now, the minute you break that cycle and you feel good in your own energy, you feel much more uplifted, that's when things start to really build in intensity. There's someone here showing ex uh, showing and expressing some form of intention to you in December, you know, wanting things to progress with you. The Wheel of Fortune here is also about progression. It's about the wheel turning and abundance flowing in your direction, things really progressing in your favour. So the Wheel of Fortune is really showing things opening up in December. It's also showing you feeling much calmer, much more balanced as well. And with the Moon card, which is right next to it, it is showing that you have your emotions under control. You will feel balanced on a mental, physical, spiritual and emotional level. The Queen of Wands here is really about, you know, standing in your power, feeling good about who you are, how you are and really just knowing that it's okay to be yourself. Again, with this nine to the 10, it's about trying to get from this energy very much so to this energy, which you have the potential to do. Re you really do. And the nine of cups there is really showing an emotional sense of balance and peace. And the four of wands here is very much so showing a sense of progression and taking things further with this particular person. So I feel like this is a connection that can really progress into the future, especially with the Four of Wands. It shows attraction there with one person red and the other one blue. It's like a magnet, red and blue attract. And then we've got counterparts. So this couldn't be any more clear. It really couldn't. It's so, so, so obvious that there is someone here and it's like this just automatic, almost like love at first sight kind of thing. And then of course this Ace of Pentacles as well, which shows that as well because this Ace of Pentacles really does represent commitment, stability, security, happiness, joy, a wish. Also Nine of Cups also represents a wish as well, but it all starts when you start to feel much more uplifted in your energy. Now, if you're sitting there and you're thinking, I am quite uplifted in my energy, there's always room for progression. And what I am seeing as well is that overthinking can be something that can actually make you attract certain things that you don't want because the law of attraction is sort of always working. And if you feel quite negative, or you feel like you're overthinking things, or you're thinking of every situation possible, you're essentially attracting that as well. So I think that, you know, something like the law of attraction, affirmations, intentions are really, really great to do. And they can definitely boost you and make you feel much, much stronger, but also attract what you want. And also using the law of attraction and affirmations towards yourself, for example, saying I am love can be very, very powerful for you. But December is an OMG month, quite literally, quite literally. So Leo, this is your reading. And if this resonates, and this is very much so your energy, whether you're male or female, I read energies in tarot, not the genders. This is very much so your energy that I would really be so excited to see you in. So yeah, this is your reading and if this resonates with you, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And also do, um, what am I trying to say? What am I trying to say? Uh, do check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, free reading giveaway and my bracelets which are on Etsy. I hope that you have an absolutely lovely day or night, wherever you are, whenever you're watching this. And Leo, I hope that you really take care and sending lots of positivity your way. Bye.